So I think we all know that the Philippines is one of the most disaster-prone countries in the world. We are hit by an average of 20 typhoons and apart from that, um, some earthquakes and also some tsunamis on the side. So a lot of climate-induced hazards. And also, particularly in the past two years, we witnessed also an increase and um, an evolution of the risk because of the pandemic, um, the COVID-19 pandemic. So because of this converging and overlapping risks of the public health crisis and um, the climate-induced hazards, it somehow increased the vulnerabilities of, of people um, living in the Philippines. protection ano for protection risk nung pumasok tong prep D project mas na highlight no mas nakikita din sa amen um, sa team na ano may mga dapat tignan kapag kami rin ay magkakaroon ng mga training of trainers sa community so isa do sa nakita ko talaga na matindi is yung pagkakaroon nila ng um, financial risk or yung, oh, sorry yung protection risk of financial savings so i think magandang tignan din yun kasi tinutumbok yun yung silk component ng project kung saan may pagtulong or pag, uh, pagturo sa mga uh, kababaihan, sa mga households, yung paano sila magkakaroon ng sapat na ipon para sa panahon ng emergency, meron sila nagagamit. And of course, yung common problem din natin sa mga evacuation centers na despite na meron tayong mga modular tents na ina-adopt, syempre meron pa rin tayong kailangang tignan on the protection risk on like, how do we ensure yung mga na malilesen yung mga gender-based violence na hindi siya madadala during sa uh, evacuation centers. I think for so many years now, CR has been partnering with um, local um, government units, particularly the disaster risk reduction offices, and also we have the civil society organizations in our partner diocese. No, we are working on different aspects of disaster mitigation from emergency response down to um, rehabilitation. But of course, on our end, uh, while we acknowledge the importance of doing rehabilitation and restoration of, of lives and livelihoods, the important thing here is that we also take a look at preparedness. That's why one of the uh, projects we're eyeing in terms of our interventions is looking at how we prepare the communities and how to prevent them from 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 different kinds of risks and threats no um, that can impact their lives no and we're not just talking about climate induced hazards here but also um, the pandemic because there is certainly an issue of um, complex emergencies happening in in the country and outside as well <laughs>